This is how a tegu poops. Well, hi there. It is a great day because I am here with two caiman lizards and the Argentine black and white tegu. I should mention, if you are troubled by the way that I am pronouncing the word Argentine, uh, we have a whole video that you should watch and then come back and hopefully you will be less troubled. It does have a flock of dictionaries in it. These particular caiman lizards come to us from Jason from The Reptile Project, an excellent channel on YouTube, also on Facebook. I strongly recommend his channel. He has a lot of great videos on caiman lizards because caiman lizards are his favorite lizards in the world and he now has three of them. You probably know Thorn here. And this is Ivy, who's one of his two new female caiman lizards that he just got. So we'll, we'll put some links down in the description so you can check out his channel as well because you're gonna wanna learn more about these cool lizards. But stick around here for a few more minutes because we have more to share with you right here as well. I told you already, these are two of the, well, not just these two, but caiman lizards and Argentine tegus are two of the coolest lizards you could possibly get. For starters, they're both like really impressively sized lizards. These caiman lizards aren't even quite fully grown. They can get a little bigger than this still. And of course, You've seen Gus Gus, and he's getting pretty close to full size now, and he is an impressive beast. They really all are. On top of that, they've got really amazing just structure. They're just solid, stout lizards with really impressive, big, boofy noggins. The caiman lizards, um, they look like crocodiles, except for their head and feet, which look like tegu heads and feet. We've mentioned this before. They're like the tegu crocodile hybrid that a wizard would make, and I stand by that 100%. That is exactly what's going on here. Uh, crocodiles are maybe the coolest looking animals on the planet, possibly the coolest looking animals that have ever existed, because they're definitely going to give any dinosaurs a run for their money, and dinosaurs are, you know, the king. So, amazing. Amazing looking lizards. They're also friendly lizards. They're really good to interact with unlikely to bite. You can walk them on a harness. Amazing! I, I adore both of these lizards. These are both dream lizards. And the challenge can be just figuring out which of the two, if you have to decide, and because they're both kind of a handful, you probably have to decide, which of the two is the right pet lizard for you. And to help you sort this out, we've decided to put the caiman lizard and the Argentine tegu head-to-head. -head. That means crowning a champion will come down to our three head-to-head -head categories, which are awesomeness, because you wouldn't want to own it if it wasn't stinking awesome, expensiveness, and difficulty. When it comes to awesomeness, I mean, let's face it, these are two of the most awesome lizards in the entire world. They both have a very similar awesome size. Tegus probably get just a little bit bigger than Cayman lizards, but both of them are very, very impressive. And unless you see them right next to each other, either one is going to be just a colossal, incredible super lizard to whoever sees it. As a result of both being giant teed lizards, they've actually got a very similar body shape in general and kind of a similar look. When you see a caiman lizard, you look at that head and you can tell that's a water tegu, isn't it? I think it's debatable which of the two is the cooler looking lizard. Uh, they've definitely both got a lot going for them when it comes to looks. The bite of a tegu is a little bit scarier than the bite of a caiman lizard. If you look at the skulls of these two lizards, you can actually tell there's a pretty significant difference in their dentition or their teeth. Both of them have got some blunter, sort of more grinding or crushing type teeth in the back and sharp teeth in the front, but the big sharp teeth on the tegu, they've just got more of them and they're larger than those of the caiman lizard. The caiman lizard sort of only has the sharp teeth right at the very front of its mouth. The tegu, they go about halfway back and they're very good size and I can tell you from experience, very sharp. Caiman lizards, on the other hand, their bite is much more about crushing, given that one of their staple foods are snails, they're all about crushing things. So they've got tremendous jaw pressure, as do tegus, 
but the ca caiman lizard jaw is more designed to crush things than it is to rip off pieces of flesh, which you don't want to have happen if it's your hand. Caiman lizards swim around like crocodiles, uh, and their body looks like that of a crocodile. So that's stinking rad. Tegus can swim like that, but they're usually not going to do this on their own, and you're probably not going to have a water feature that would allow this in the enclosure with your tegu. And just because of that, because they swim around like crocodiles, uh, we're going to give this round of awesomeness to the caiman lizard. Don't take it personally, Gus Gus, though. I think you're about as awesome as a lizard could possibly be. When it comes to expensiveness, both caiman lizards and argentine tegus are going to be pretty expensive. Both of them are going to need a very large enclosure. This almost certainly will need to be custom built, which means you either need access to power tools and wood shop, that kind of stuff, or you're going to need somebody who can build it for you, and that's not cheap at all. They both need expensive lighting. Because they're big lizards and they need a big basking spot with UV lighting, you just need a lot of large basking bulbs and UV bulbs, and those can get pricey. And they need to be replaced every six months to a year, so that's going to be a long-term expense for sure. Because they are both large and active lizards, they're going to eat a lot of food, and that gets expensive. Cayman lizards, even though they tend to be farm-raised instead of captive bred, they tend to be considerably more expensive to buy than our Argentine tegus, even though Argentine tegus are also fairly expensive lizards. Also, because they are imports brought in from not exactly the wild, but right next to it, they are probably going to need to go to the vet to be treated for parasites and other stresses related with importation, and that is going to be an expense that you're going to have to add on to the cost of the lizard. Cayman lizards need a large heated and filtered water area, large enough for these colossal lizards to swim around. And that is also very expensive. That's an expensive aquarium. And primarily due just to this major difference, that you're going to need a huge aquarium as part of the enclosure for your caiman lizards. This round goes to the Argentine tegu. When it comes to difficulty, the reality is that neither of these lizards are particularly easy. Both of them are, frankly, enormous lizards. There are bigger lizards out there, but when it comes to pet lizards, these are what most people would consider absolutely colossal. Because they are large, both of these lizards need very large enclosures. Uh, I mean, enormous, like almost a room in your house sort of large. And that is something that is well, going to be prohibitive to a lot of people. They also eat a lot. And, and I don't actually find the diets of these lizards to be all that difficult to uh, obtain. Uh, for example, you can get everything you need to feed a, a tegu most of the time at the grocery store, and that's awesome. It's just that being such a large and active lizard, they eat a lot of it. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're considering either of these lizards. The diet for a caiman lizard is a little bit more complex um, at least at grocery stores that don't sell snails, but I mean a lot of Asian markets and things do sell snails So you might still be able to get everything you'd need for a caiman lizard at the grocery store the enclosure Though they're both large The enclosure for the caiman lizard is going to be considerably more complex because of really only one thing Which is they need an enormous water area plus they like to climb and so you may need a lot of vertical space with climbing branches, but more importantly, you need a huge heated and filtered water swimming area. And that is something you don't really need for a tegu. And it just means you have to keep an enormous aquarium, which can be fun, and caiman lizards don't tend to eat your fish. So you could have an enormous aquarium with really cool fish in it, but you do need to keep that with a caiman lizard and you don't need that with a tegu. The caiman lizard is also way more likely to be an import, uh, which means it's probably farmed in South America and then shipped to wherever you are. And as a result, they often come in a, a little bit stressed and often full of parasites. And I mean, that can definitely lead to having your lizard crash and die. It at the very least means that you're gonna need to make some vet trips to get your caiman lizard treated after you get it, and that is considerably more difficult than what you would need to do with a captive bred tegu. And for that reason, 
the Argentine black and white tegu wins this round, and as a result, this head-to-head. -head. Tegus make better pets than Cayman lizards because they're easier and cheaper to keep. But, tegus are not Cayman lizards. If you have the money and dedication that is required for a Cayman lizard, uh, especially if you can happen to find one captive bred, which is very difficult, they can be absolutely amazing. Uh, one of the coolest lizards you could possibly get. So frankly, uh, I can recommend either of these. But if you're looking for the easier and more affordable of the two, definitely go with the Tegu. As always, like and subscribe. Be sure to check out our full videos that we have on both the Argentine Tegu and the Cayman Lizard. We hope to see you real soon. And... That can be difficult. <laughs> He's found one thing to run around on. All right, Gus. On your way, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're being like a savannah monitor today. Calm down, Gus. Gus, you're usually calmer than us. If you are troubled by my pronunciation of the word Argentine, uh, we have. Oh. Oh, man. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Outtakes! <laughs> this is how a tegu poops. <laughs> All Victory. Right. Everybody poops. And this is how they wipe themselves. They always do the bum drag. Hooray! You are great. I really like you. Welcome, Ivy. She's so sweet. Oh, you are a great lizard. You're just tremendous. Jason's going to be so sad that I kept you. But that's just the way it is. Oh, you are ter just tremendous. You're just a terrific lizard. Yeah. Yeah. You have me really wanting a caiman lizard now. There are a few reptiles uh, that while working with them, filming these videos, I have fallen absolutely in love with them. Uh, included on this list are jeweled lacertas and false water cobras, both of which I now have. This is a lizard that I do not have a space for at the moment, and I don't have time to take on a caiman lizard, but I think as of today, I'm adding them to my someday list. This must happen someday, and so I'm hoping Jason here has great success breeding these lizards. I, I want to be first on the list for thorn ivy babies. So let it be known, someday I have to have one of these. You are perfect. You're a perfect lizard. <laughs> You're a good boy. You're a good boy.